Sometimes I feel forgotten. I feel like God doesn't hear me or chooses not to. And then I think of myself and wonder, who am I out of billions of people right now? Why do my concerns matter? Who am I to assume that God is listening to my prayers? Time and time again, God tells us in scripture that we are not forgotten and we are heard. As we come together today for worship in the word, we pray we remember who you said we are, children of God. Welcome to another episode of The Park Bench. Thank you again for joining me this week in the midst of God's creation. And as you can see, if you're watching this online, I know I'm not at a park bench and I've recorded a couple of these out of order. So next week, I'm also not gonna be at a park bench. I'm at a picnic table, which thankfully is under the shade of a nice, beautiful tree here, which on a very hot morning already, uh, to be under the shade of this wonderful tree uh, is, well, it's wonderful. And it does remind me of our text for today, which comes from the 139th Psalm. And the psalmist says this, If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me, your right hand will hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will hide me and the light become night around me, even the darkness will not be dark to you. The night will shine like the day, for darkness is light to you. For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. 
And let's pause right there because those verses to me are some of the most important verses in all of Scripture, especially the Old Testament and especially here in the Psalm. So I want to read that again. It's verses 13 and 14. For you, God, created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Let's talk about childbirth this morning because it is a miracle. And there really is no uh, more anxiety producing eight or nine months of a parent's life as well. I still remember when my wife and I had our first child, Hazel. We were new to the game. We didn't have any understanding of what it meant to be parents. We didn't know the weight and the responsibility of just what it meant to, to have a child in your life. And so those months leading up to Hazel's birth back in April of 2017 were, were nerve-wracking. That every day I felt like I was waiting by my phone to, to get a text or get a phone call of of bad news from from Katie that that something had gone wrong in the pregnancy that I was waiting for those words every day to come from her and to have that weight of anxiety and fear just crushing down on you every day for days on end for weeks on end for months on end throughout the course of the pregnancy was was incredibly difficult but then sometime in December of 2016, we, we saw our first ultrasound images of, of Hazel. And it was, it was incredible to see uh, our little baby uh, growing, and then especially to hear Hazel's heartbeat, to hear the sounds of life emanating uh, from my wife's womb. To know that uh, this was our child and that although I had never actually seen her in person just this 2d ultrasound image and then you know just audibly audibly hearing uh, her heartbeat although I had yet to hold her or see Hazel in person I loved her with a love that I had never experienced before it was a love that was different from the love I shared with family or the love that I shared with my wife, Katie, it was a love that was specifically for Hazel and it made my heart just burst from the seams. And she wasn't even born yet. She was still being knit together in her mother's womb. And how incredible it is to know that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ has the same love for you and for, for all people. That God has been with us before our parents even knew that we were around because there was certainly a period of time before we realized that Katie was pregnant. And yet, God knew. Jesus knew. The Holy Spirit was already at work knitting Hazel together. That before me or my wife had a chance to pour this new love out to our yet unborn daughter, the Holy Spirit was already at work clothing her with peace, clothing her with the light and the love of Jesus Christ. And it's the same for you each and every day when it feels like the world perhaps has forgotten you, when it feels like the world maybe has, has thrown you to the side, when it feels like love might be difficult to come by through family or through friends. Know that Jesus Christ is always by your side. Know that the wings of the Holy Spirit surround you and clothe you with hope and with faith and with forgiveness and with the overflowing abundance of Jesus' love this day and always. Because before family or friends could pour out their love to you, before the world even knew you existed, God knew, Jesus knew, the Holy Spirit knew. From the very beginning of your life, Jesus Christ has been by 
your side. And each and every day for the rest of time, our Lord, our Savior, and our Shepherd will continue to guide you and lead you and protect you and love you this day and always. And from the midst of God's beautiful creation, again, out here in creation, we see signs and markers of God's presence. We see the fingerprints of God's creation all around us. And so from these daily reminders here, know that you too have been woven and knit together through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, you have known us since before we were even born. You call us and claim us as children of God. We say and sing amen, for your love never ends. Thank you for reminding us that we are not forgotten. people said amen.